essential. Like, I, I can't stress enough how useful that is on every shoe. Is there any equipment that's under a hundred pounds? <laughs> um, there is, that, yeah. Um, this, this is a tricky one. There's lots of things that obviously, you know, there's lots of things that fall into that category, but the, the things I always reach for, um, as a DP, as a DP, I would say it's the, uh, it's the, I think I'm getting this right. It's the X right color checker. And I think it's about a hundred pounds. I could be wrong. I think they might have a smaller passport version that, which is like, yeah, which is about that price. Um, essential. Like I, I can't stress enough how useful that is on every shoot, whether it's a quick, quick job, quick win, or whether it's like, you know, desk get out thousand shots a day feature. Like uh, it is so useful and it's useful for post-production in a way that a lot of people I think overlook because you see it so often on set and you're like, oh, well, I'm not quite sure what those things are. And I get that it's skin tone and I get that it's some kind of exposure chart, but I think fully understanding how as a colorist you use that and how you can make game changing decisions based on what that chart is showing you, you know, and can't really kind of, I guess you can't visualize the, the, you know, it right here, right now, but ultimately it gives you a benchmark for exposure. But more importantly, what it does is it, is it gives you relative numbers. And so you can decide whether or not, or see quite quickly, more to the point, whether the DP has, decided, has made a decision on set to underexpose by half a stop or overexpose by half a stop. And those are creative choices. And as a colorist, your job is to not correct that. And so if you can see that happening consistently across a range of shots, you can then have a discussion right there and then and decide how you want to, you know, either lean into that or counterbalance that. And it is the, the single most useful thing as a DP, apart from my light meter, I'm a little bit old school like that, but as, apart from light meter, the x right color checker chart, the video one, because I know there's a, there's, I think there's a photo one as well. Um, 100%. If you haven't got one, that would be, honestly, that would be a thing I would advise everybody to get. You know, even if you're just, even if you're not a DP, you're, I don't know, first AC, get one. Like, especially if you're working on small to medium productions. And then as a colorist, it's a little bit more tricky. Um, thing for £100, uh, probably, probably, the black, uh, I think I'm getting this right. The Black Magic Ultra Studio 3G monitor. It's a it's a tiny little I/O box, and what that enables you to do essentially is get a clean feed out of a computer. So the the software I use, and this isn't the only software available, but DaVinci Resolve is the is the color software that I use. In order to get an accurate sort of um, untouched image, let's say out of the computer, you need a way of sending a signal out. And that little box, that I think is about a hundred pounds, I think. Um, it's like the size of a matchbox. You could take it everywhere with you. And you know, that's the great thing I've found is that if you if you can get to a level where you understand how to calibrate screens and things like that, you can be anywhere and work, you know, legitimately, you know, whether that's from a laptop, you you know, you can plug it into your separate screen. It gives you that clean feed. And it takes the stress out of, oh, is my image correct? Because you know that you're simply getting a clean feed out to a color accurate monitor. And you know that that monitor, regardless of what's happening on your Mac or your PC, you know that that's money. That's, you know, that's the image that you're aiming at.